And the 2007 season is underway. The left footed kicker high and short. And it's fielded. And ball is fumbled out there at about the 25 yard line. It's ball is falling. And it's still loose. And the ball is falling balled into the hands of the four Morgan Mustangs. It hit Chris Healy right in the chest at about the 20 yard line. And he fumbled it about 10 yards forward. And the Mustangs have recovered the football. A turnover on the opening play of the 07 season. Chris Cobbley is the quarterback. And he will hand it off right up to gut and maybe a yard. And not much more. That might have been Joe Hokanadel on the carry. It was. And Cobbley will hand it off off the right side in a big hole across the 15 to about the 13. Pick up a four again by Joe Hokanadel. And around the football for Brush with Justin Burns, the linebacker, to make the play. Third down and about three for the 13. Here's the handoff left side and hit at the line of scrimmage was Matt Chavez. Chavez, Swift, brought down in the backfield. And he was hit by Isaac Gross. Garrett Papal hold, 30-yard field goal attempt. And it is up, and that one is well off to the left and missed by Bobby Wilhelmson. And the beat diggers will take over at their own 20-yard line on first and 10. It appears that Fort Morgan is going to blitz in motion to the right as Jared Spooner. They've got about eight on the line of scrimmage. The handoff to Bostrom left side. He's got a couple of yards across the 20 to about the 22-yard line. In motion to the right is Carlos Sanchez. There's the pitch right. Not much running room for Chris Healy. He's down at the 17-yard line as Hoff throws him for a five-yard loss. And quite frankly, James, the blocking simply wasn't there. No running room whatsoever. Third down and 13. Brush with 8.40 to go in the opening quarter from their own 17-yard line. No score in a passing situation. In motion to the left of Spooner. And now we've got a flag, and I wonder if that was a delay of game. It was. That'll be third down, and around 18 to go. Brush at their own 12. In motion to the left is Jared Spooner. And Maltos back to throw, looking left, and he throws it out to the left well over the head of Spooner at about the 17-yard line. And a big stick by John Bailey, the 5'10", 160-pound safety. And the beat diggers will have to punt. Punt formation for Brush will be Jacob Fector. And a low snap, it goes right through his legs. He's going to have to fall on the ball. And he tackled in the back of the end zone for a safety. Tackled over there by Keith Montel. Cortez's kickoff is very short and headed towards the sideline. The ball is loose and out of bounds at the 47-yard line of Fort Morgan. And on first down, there's a handoff and a nice gainer across the right side. Matt Chavez inside the 40 to about the 39-yard line. Check that. It was Isaac Rodriguez. And he gained six for Morgan from the brush 39-yard line, leading two to nothing. And this time, that'll be a counter on the left side to John Bailey. He's going to have a first down to the 35-yard line, running into a blocker. And he's loose on the left side line to the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Fort Morgan. We've got a late flag, but that goes the distance for John Bailey. 39 yards. And the Mustangs are in the lead, eight to nothing. There's a snap, it's down, the kick is up, and that kick is inside the left upright. It's good from 35 yards away on the extra point with the score. Fort Morgan nine, brush nothing. In 51 seconds, a 39-yard run by John Bailey, and Fort Morgan is in the lead, eight to nothing. Wilhelmson with a long kickoff, and Chris Ely catches this football at the two-yard line, straight ahead of the 15, and he's wrapped around and around the 20-yard line. To the 21 return of 19. The tackle was made by Adam Huffman, the sophomore. Montos will hand it off in a big hole off the left side to Chris Ely across the 25 to around the 27. A gain of seven tackle by Rudy Chavez. And Montos this time will hand it off right up the gut. That's a first down spinning across the 30 to the 33 was Chris Ely. And that's a gain of six. First down and 10 for the beat diggers from their own 33-yard line trailing 9 nothing. 6.22 to go in the opening quarter. Shokoff in motion to the right. Maltos to throw. Lofts it down the left sideline. Spooner's out there. Inside the 40 to around the 38-yard line, tackled by John Bailey. And that one goes for 25 big ones, and that's the connection. Rush need to check that. We'll call that there 29 yards. Approaching the five-minute mark of the first, Brush trailing 9 nothing on first and 10. Spooner in motion to the right. Matos 
will hand it off to Bostrom across the 35 to the 34. It's a gain of four. Tackle made by Keith Martell. Elian Bostrom in the backfield and Maltos play action to throw. Deep down the left sideline, Spooner's out there but overthrown and out of bounds at around the 15-yard line. Spooner was wide open, but Maltos had to get rid of that football. From the 34 of Fort Morgan, Maltos with a hand off to Bostrom. He dives to the 32. It looked like he was just tripped up and gained a couple of yards, actually just one to the 33. It'll be fourth and five, and more than likely the Bee Diggers will go for it. On fourth and five, Maltos on the bootleg to the left. He's got plenty of running room to the 35, but now he is cut off by John Bailey, and he is down. He only had Bailey the piece. He picks up three yards, but it's not enough for the first down. The Mustangs take over on downs. First and ten for Fort Morgan at their own 30-yard line. Cobley will hand it off from the right side in a short game to around the 32 on second down. Maybe a busted play. Cobley hands it off to Rodriguez. Looked like a busted play initially, but maybe it's just the way I saw it across the 35 to the 36. A gain of three, and Isaac Brost was around that football for the beat diggers. It'll be third and four. And on third down, Cobley is going to run the football first down to the 40. He is stuck at the 45-yard line, but he gains nine. And that is a Fort Morgan first down. That tackle was made by Tito Leon from the 46. And the handoff to Rodriguez right side. He's wrapped up after a gain of one. Excellent penetration by Arturo Maltos along with Isaac Brost. Second down and nine. Cobley on the bootleg left. He slips the tackle in the backfield. Got the left sideline and he's knocked out of bounds. Just shy of the brush. 46-yard line, third down and a short three, and there's the quarterback sneak, and that looks like it could be a first down. Boy, Cobley went on a very quick snap. He got inside the 45 to the 44 to pick up a three, and that appears to be a Fort Morgan first down. The handoff to Rodriguez, right side, and he is stuck in the backfield. Boy, outstanding penetration over there by Rico Portese, and then the rest of the beat diggers cleaned it all up. That's the end of the opening quarter with the score. Four Morgan, nine, brush nothing. Second down and 16 for the Mustangs at the 50-yard line. And this will be a handoff right side to Bailey to the 45-yard line. Stiff arms a man. That's Jared Spooner who makes the tackle at around the 41. And it'll be a gain of nine. And Cobley will hand it off to Rodriguez. Running left, slips out of a tackle. But now he's going to be down at the 40-yard line. And it'll be a gain of one, a late flag. Looked like Portese was in there initially along with a couple of other beat diggers. And Daniel Rubacaba actually made the play. Procedure against Fort Morgan, and that'll be declined, obviously. It'll be fourth down and a long six for Fort Morgan at the brush 40-yard line. Looks like they'll go for it. They can gamble on this situation up 9 nothing with 10.40 to go before the break. And Cobley on the quarterback draw breaks a tackle to the 35-yard line, but no more. He's going to be held short and driven back at the 36. He'll pick up four, but Roy Grauberger was there. First and 10 beat diggers at their own 36 with 10.33 to go in the second. And Maltos will hand it off right up the gut to Chris Ely. And he is nailed after a gain of four to the 40. Second down and six. The beat diggers at their own 40-yard line. A blitz is coming. The ball is fumbled, and it looks like the Mustangs might have it. No, the beat diggers fell on it at the 39-yard line. Maltos was hit as soon as he grabbed the football from under center, and I think Spooner might have fallen on it, but it is a loss of one. Third down and 12. The mark to make is a 46, trailing 9 nothing. 8.53 to go in the second. Maltos back to throw, rolling to his left. He's got a block, wants to throw, does on the run, and it's complete no now dropped by Spooner at the 40. He was hit by John Bailey. A short snap, and now he's got to get it off. A heavy rush, and that one is blocked. The ball is loose. It's picked up by a beat digger. Ball is re fumbled, picked up by Fort Morgan, and all the way down to the two-yard line is Chavez. Rudy Chavez down to the two, and the Mustangs in incredible field position. And quite frankly, Dave, I couldn't put it any franker. The special team has been a disaster. The ball is actually going to be placed back at around, I believe, the 14. Handoff on the right side and a gain of one to the 13-yard line for Matt Chavez. Second down and about eight to go from the 13. Cobley will hand it off to Bailey on the right side. Slips out of a tackle, slips out of a second tackle. And he's inside the 10 to around the 7 before 
Altos and Cortese drag him out of bounds. It could have been about a one or two yard gain instead. That one goes for six. Third down and two for Fort Morgan at the brush seven yard line. Leading nine to nothing with 7.45 to go. Quarterback keeper. First down, boy. Cobbly behind that big offensive line. Inside the five to the three. The bootleg to the right side and a fumble in the end zone, but falling on it is Cobbly for a touchdown. Three yards away. And the Mustangs, having everything go their way, they lead 15 to nothing with 7.33 to go before the break. Wilhelmson to attempt the extra point. It's down. The kick is up. And that kick is good. With the score, Fort Morgan 16, rush nothing. Wilhelmson with a high short kick towards the sideline, takes a bounce, and it's bouncing into Fort Morgan's direction. The ball is loose and pounced on over there by Chris Ely at the 25. On first down with Maltos under center, the Mustangs to blitz. The handoff to Bostrom, left side. He's got a short gain to around the 27. And the penetration and tackle by Keith Montel. It's going to be a flag. Maltos pulled out from under center. But the ball was not in his hand. That'll set up a, a second down and 13. Second and 13 from the 22. And to give the Bostrom nothing. Maltos is back to throw. Now rolls to his left. Throwing on the run. The pass is complete underneath to the 30 to the 35. Across the right side to the 40. That's going to be a first down. And eight of 18 to Heidel Zia. Maltos with a long count. Rolling to his right, pressure coming, throwing underneath. That pass is caught at the 50-yard line. That's going to be a first down right there. Well, looked like he was tackled at the 49, referring to Bradley Bass as the tackle was made by Ian Moreno. Maltos will hand it off to Bostrom on the right side, trying to break a tackle. He's going to be piled up at around the 48, maybe the 47. Second down and eight for Brush at the 48 of Fort Morgan. Man in motion to the right. Matos back to throw to his left. That pass is complete to Spooner, but he's down after a short gain to around the 44. Oh, I believe we either had uh, movement on the left side for Brush or delay of game. I actually saw some slight movement on the left side. On third and nine for the 49, the handoff and a big hole across the left side. That's going to be a first down inside the 40 to around the 37-yard line, a gain of 12 by Isaac Gross with the 37. Maltos on the bootleg right, and he tries to slip a tackle, does, and he gets to the outside, flips out of another tackle to the 35, towards the right sideline, down and around the 31, maybe the 30-yard line. It'll be second down and three for the Bee Diggers, 2.07 to go in the second. They've got two timeouts remaining, trailing by 16, and there's a handoff, a fumble, I believe Gross fell on it, Ball is on the ground. See a loss of one. Back to the 31. Well, Morgan coming with a blitz. Bostos back to throw. Pumps. He's it down the left sideline. Spooner is out there, and he makes the catch. No. It's broken up at the five-yard line by John Bailey. From the 31 on fourth and four. Maltos with a hard count. Has the football. Bootleg to the left. Runs to the outside to the 30. Can he get the first down? He's up to the 25. Left sideline, 20. He is knocked out of bounds inside the 15 to the 14-yard line, a gain of 17. And Maltos is running again. And the four Morgan tackle was made by Kent Hall on first and 10. Maltos hand off the Bros. Runs the middle to the 10. Five. Touchdown. Touchdown, Isaac Bros. 14 yards away. And the bee stickers are on the board. It's 16 to 6, Fort Morgan. The two and a half yard line. And in motion to the right. Bostos back to throw. Out to the left. It's caught. And that is going to be a two point conversion for Chris Ely, who is wide open in the flat. The score Fort Morgan 16, Rush 8, 16 to 8. And a boomer there by Rico Fort Daisy. And that ball will be fielded in the end zone. And in high school football, you cannot bring it out from the end zone. So Fort Morgan has the ball at their own 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Mustangs at their own 20-yard line. Copley under center. Fumbles the football. It is loose. At least that's what I thought it was, Dave. But maybe he just grabbed the football and ran straight ahead because I saw some commotion there. Nonetheless, down to around the 23-yard line for a game of four. There was a strange body language there by Copley. We're on second down, the handoff left side to Chavez. A big ball across the 25 to the 30, and he spun down at around the 30 yard line. A gain of six. Cole Bostrom makes the play, but that is a Fort Morgan Mustang first down. Now we're under 40 seconds to go. First and 10 from the 30. 
And Tobley this time is back to throw. Heaves it down the left sideline. The pass is going to be caught. Holy Mahungas inside the 45 out of bounds. At around the 43-yard line at the game of 27. And the Mustangs are threatening in the waiting moments of the second quarter. From the 43, Big Diggers have to come up with at least one play here. Cobbley rolling to his right. Pressure coming set. And now he's going to be hit. And we're going to have a face passing penalty against the Big Diggers. He's down at around the 47-yard line. 11.3 seconds remaining. And Cobbley is going to hand it off. The ball is loose. And it's going to be picked up by a Mustang and driving all the way down to the 30-yard line. That's going to be a first down. And that was Cobbley himself. First down and 10. Fort Morgan from the brush 30. Final play. And this will be a handoff to Bailey. He wants to throw the football. He's down the left sideline. Schooner's out there. He picks it off. Intercepted by Jared Schooner at the 4-yard line. And that's the way the first half ends. As that pass was intended for Tanner Schaefer, check that for Alex Meek. That is the end of the opening half with the score. Portal is 16. And Brush 8. This one is high and deep, but not that deep. At the 8-yard line to Rodriguez, straight ahead to the 20. He's hit by Portese, and he breaks the tackle, but he's down across the 25 to around the 27. And Portese really slowed that whole thing down. Joe Hokanottle, along with two other Mustangs in the backfield, the handoff to Hokanottle off right side, and he is hit very hard by Roy Grauberger. No gain. The beat diggers were right there to make the play. On second down, and the ball is fumbled in the backfield by John Bailey. He picks it up, and now he's going to be down after a gain of maybe one or two. Cobbley will roll to his right, wants to throw it. Bailey open underneath, makes the catch at the 35, has a first down, and it's knocked out of bounds. We've got a late flag, and I believe a beat digger could be guilty of face passing. Knocked out of bounds at the 42 at the gain of 13. And a Mustang first down. You, you can see that play developing very quickly as Bailey was open. No, it's holding. Check that holding against Fort Morgan, third and two. Cobbley on a quarterback draw. He's going to gain a yard, and that's it. Oh, boy, he might have squeezed to the 37, close to a first down. Alex Mee standing at his own 25. Chris Ely is back along with Jared Spooner. He's awaiting it at the 25. There's the snap. He gets the punt off, and that one is off the right side of his foot towards the sideline, and it takes a Mustang hop inside the 30 down to the 27-yard line. Hand off to Ely. He squeezes three yards out of that play to the 30, second and seven from the 30. Maltos rolling to his right, gets a block, throws underneath the pass, is caught, a first down to pass at the 40, and he's spun out of bounds at the 43-yard line. It's a gain of 13. And a beat digger first down. The handoff right up the gut. And a short gain, and we've got a flag down. Isaac Gross gains a yard. And this will be face mask, five-yarder against Fort Morgan from the 39. Maltos is going to hand it off on the counter across the 40 to the 42 for a gain of three. That will set up a second down and one, and that was Chris Ely before he swallowed up. Ely on the carry. There by Kent Hall. Matos pitches right to Ely, looking for a block. Gets it. Maybe enough for the first down as he dives to around the 46. First down and 10. Beat Diggers at the Mustang 46-yard line. 16 to 8, Fort Morgan. 7.20 to go in the third. Hard count by Matos. He's got the football. He'll hand it off on the left side to the 45 and lunging his way to the 44 is Isaac Gross. Matos back to throw. Pressure coming. Looks to his right. He throws, and Spooner is unable to make that catch. It was well over his head at the 30-yard line. Melendez, a sophomore, on third down and 12. He's got the football. He'll hand it off, and a nice hole up the middle to Brost, short of a first down inside the 45 to the 42. It's a gain of six. 5.34 to go in the third quarter. Fort Morgan, 16, brush eight. Fourth down and six from the 42, and... Matos on the bootleg, wants to throw, throws, wide open the throw! Oh, holy Mahungas, wide open was Brad Bass down the middle of the field at the 16-yard line. It went through his hands. If he makes the catch, it's a beat digger touchdown. First and 10 for the 42. New quarterback. The ball is fumbled. It's still loose. And I think the beat diggers have recovered the football. 
And they've got it at the Fort Morgan 41-yard line, trailing 16-8, to 5.22 to go in the third. And Maltos on the handoff with a big hole to Isaac Gross, breaks a tackle, and he ties to around the 30. That's going to be a gain of 11 and a brush. to Singer, first down. Maltos will hand it off right up the gut. And driving to around the 27-yard line, I believe, was Chris Ely. Nope. Troy Grauber here. Second down and seven for the Bee Diggers at the 27. The backs are split. Pass the receiver to the right. And Maltos to throw. Pumps. Heaves it. And the pass is going to be incomplete. Third down and seven from the 27. Four down territory. On third down and motion to the right is Spooner. Maltos. Rolling to his right. Pressure coming. Throws, and that pass is incomplete. Not even close. Intended for Heidel Villa at the 11. Fourth and seven from the 27. Maltos is going to roll to his right. He wants to run with a football. He's at the 25. Spins out of a tackle. He's short of a first down at around the 24-yard line. Way, way too many Fort Morgan Mustangs there to make the play. Garrett Pape once again is the quarterback. And this time he'll hand it off on the right side, looking for a seam to the outside to the 30-yard line and knocked down at around the 32 is Adam Hoffman. Excellent hit over there, about seven yards. There's the give right up the gut and driving towards that first down marker at the 35, very close, and I believe that that is the first down for Joe Okanato, and it is. It's a gain of three. He'll hand it off on the left side and a very short gain by Isaac Rodriguez. Outstanding penetration over there by Isaac Gross. It's only a gain of one. Second down and nine from the 36-yard line for Fort Morgan on their own side of the field. And we've got a flag, and that's got to be, I would assume, delay of game. Second down and 14 at the 32. And the handoff and a gain of around four to the 36-yard line. That is Matt Chavez, Garrett Pape. Back to throw, looking left. He's it down the left sideline. That is going to be incomplete. Bailey was out there, but he was well defended by Heidel Villa, and the pass was overthrown, and the Mustangs have to punt. There's the snap. It's perfect. He gets it off, and that one is kicked very well. It's fielded by Spooner at the 40-yard line. He's going to be wrapped up and taken down at the 43, so the Speed Digger punt return team was positioned extremely well on first and 10 from their own 43-yard line. Arturo Mantos. Awaiting the snap. And he'll hand it off to Bros. Runs into a blocker and then gains a couple of yards to the 45-yard line. Second down and eight from their own 45-yard line. Maltos looking to throw. Out to his right. The pass is caught by Spooner at the 50. Spooner 45. Right sideline to the 40. And he's down right there. But it's a gain of 15. And a brush beat digger first down. An impressive catch. By Spooner, first and ten for the Bee Diggers of the Fort Morgan 40-yard line. The Bee Diggers have trailed the entire game. The clock does start. Three seconds to go. Can Maltos get it off? And he does. He'll hand it off to Bostrom right up the gun. A big gainer across the 35 down to the 33-yard line. It's a gain of seven. That's how the third quarter ends with the score. Fort Morgan 16, brush 8. Maltos on second down will hand it off to Bostrom across the left side. He runs into the Fort Morgan defenders at around the 32 and picks up two. Third down and two for the 32. Maltos back to throw, rolling right, stops, throws, complete the spooner at the 24. First down, it's a gain of eight before he's brought down by Kennison. The receivers once again split out to the right and left. And with the ball fumbled, and it might have, and then Fort Morgan gets the ball. Are they going to get that football to Fort Morgan? They do. It's at the 24. Chris Cobley back in at quarterback. And Cobley now on the option right, and he breaks a tackle, and he's into the secondary, and now he pitches late, and there's a big running room and a first down across the 45 to the 46 for John Bailey. That turns into a gain of 22. Garrett Pape now the quarterback, first and 10. Fort Morgan at their own 46. Pape this time with a handoff up the gut. And a gain of around three to the 49-yard line. That was a quick hitter. And Matt Chavez was the ball carrier. Rico Portesi off the bottom of the pile. And it'll actually give him four to the 50. It'll be second and six. And Cobley, now the quarterback, wants to shovel pass it. Now he runs to about the 49-yard line before he's swallowed up there. The B-Diggers were not fooled by that play. 
gain of around two. It'll be third down and four. The football at the feed digger 48-yard line. 8.51 to go in the game. Fort Morgan leading brush 16-8. to eight. Operating on that short side of the field. Cobbley option left. First down to the 40. Left sideline 36. There is a flag down. And Dave, based on where it was thrown, I believe this is going to go against the Mustangs. Yeah, that was a whole third down and 12 from their own 44. And Cobbley on the quarterback draw is hit at the line of scrimmage. And did he lose a football? I think he did initially because one of the Mustangs picked it up. And Rudy Chavez, but it was blown dead. No gain. Alex needs to punt. Schooner is back there with Chris Ely at the 25-yard line. Perfect snap. And he gets it off very high, very short. Ely calling for the fair catch if he makes it at the 20-yard line. That's a gutsy fair catch, knowing how this game started for him. First and 10 for the 20. Maltos to throw, pumping out to the left. Complete the pass to the 30. Left side line to the 40. That runs into a Mustang and is out of bounds at around the 43. It's a gain of 23 and a brush. Feet digger, first down. First and 10 for the 43. Brush on their own side of the field. Maltos with a handoff up the gut and maybe a yard and that's it. As the brush feet digger ball carrier... Isaac Roast was spun to the ground. Maltos looking to his right. Pumps wants to throw. Sets up. He's it down the right sideline. Well over the head of Spooner. Out of bounds at around the 20. Third down and eight. The B diggers at their own 45-yard line. Maltos to throw. Out to his right. The pass is incomplete. A diving attempt by Heidel Villa at the 48-yard line of Fort Morgan, but nowhere near the target. 6.39 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 16. Brush eight. Fourth down and eight from their own 45-yard line. The Bee Diggers trailing by eight. Big situation in this game. Matos, back to throw, looking. Over the middle, that pass is going to be incomplete. Broken up at the 35-yard line, and Brad Bass was behind the defenders, but it was well underthrown, and Garrett Pate was able to make the play. First and ten, Fort Morgan. From the brush, 45 with 6.34 to go. The beat digger defense being called upon again to make a big play. John Bailey in the backfield now. Cobbley on the shovel pass to Bailey. Bailey cannot slip out of a tackle, and he's hit after a gain of only two by Isaac Brost. And Cobbley this time will keep the football running right, and he breaks the tackle, breaks the second one, has got the right sideline, knocked it out by Chris Ely inside the 20 to around the 18-yard line. That is a huge play, a gain of 25 for the Mustangs and a first down. First down and 10, Fort Morgan from the brush, 18 with 5.45 to go. The Mustangs lead 16 to 8. The backs are in an eye. Cobbley this time will hand it off to Chavez, and he is eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 for the Mustangs at the beat digger 18-yard line. Cobbley taking his time. Now we'll hand it off on the left side. And hit in the backfield and breaking a tackle as Bailey's got the left sideline to the 10, back to the inside of the 5, and he knocks out of bounds at around the 4. It's a gain of 14 on a play that should have gone for maybe a yard, if not even less than that. Hobley with a handoff left side, touchdown for Joe Pocanato. And Fort Morgan is now in the lead. 21, make it 22 to 8. The extra point by Wilhelmson is blocked by Jared Spooner. Wilhelmson boots it towards the sideline, fielded by Ely at the 11, running to his left to the 15, the 20, back to the left side of the 25, a seed to around the 30, a return of close to 20 yards. And that's where the Bee Diggers have the football with 4.44 to go in the game, trailing by 14. Montos back to throw, looking to his left, throwing over the middle. The pass is complete to around the 40-yard line. Close to a first down to Brad Bass before he's wrapped up over there by Tanner Kinnison. It's a gain of 10. The draw play, breaking a tackle, but hitting the backfield is Ely. A loss of one. That's the first draw play the beat diggers have run. And Jack Chavez made the tackle. Second down and 11. And Maltos, again, looking to throw. Setting up. Ely down the left sideline. Scooter's out there. Complete at the 25, the 20, the 15. Left sideline, 10-5. Touchdown! Get up for Jared Spooner! Oh, baby! 61 yards, and the Beat Diggers are back in the game! 
22 to 14 with 3.44 to go. There's the snap, it's down, the kick is up, and that kick is good! All right, they're within a touchdown. 22 to 15, Fort Morgan leads front, 3.44 to go in the game. And for Daisy, no, it'll be booted by Maltos, and the ball is loose, and it's picked up by a Mustang at the 45-yard line. Looked like Chris Dermer. Yep. Fell on it. First and ten for the Mustangs at their own 45. Cobley will keep the football running to his right, and he's driving for a first down. He's close to it at the brush 45-yard line as he broke a couple of tackles. Or was that a uh, delay of game penalty? Well, I cannot believe that. How did they allow that to happen? That is unbelievable how they allowed that to happen on a second and short. Now it's second and six from the 50. 2.58 to go in the game. Fort Morgan leading by seven. Handoff on the left side to Bailey, and Bailey's got a couple of yards and is taken down at the 48-yard line. Third down and four from the 48. Cobley with a hard count. Keeps the football and is hit at the 46, and he is down. And the ball is fumbled. The ball is fumbled. The Pete Diggers have recovered the football. I believe it was Chris Ely coming up with a football at the 45-yard line after a gain of three. First down and ten. Two receivers out to the left and to the right. Maltos is back to throw. Throws out to the right. The pass is incomplete. It maybe was batted down. Second down and ten. The Pete Diggers are their own 45. 2-0-2 to go from Legion Field. Spooner, the receiver to the outside on the right. Second down, also to throw. Pressure coming. Sack for the first time in the game. Joe Hokanato registers the sack back at the 40. Third down and 15 for Brush at their own 40-yard line. And Maltos back to pass. He's got the protection out to the right, and it's batted up and caught by Spooner. And now the ball is dropped. He was hit hard at the 46-yard line, and Spooner is going to be getting up slowly here. He was hit extremely hard. Let's hope he's okay. Fourth and 15, the beat diggers at their own 40 with a minute 38 to go. The backs are split. Maltos is back to throw. He's got protection. Look, throws towards the sideline. Complete! Inside the 45 to the 40 down at the 38 yard line. It's a gain of 22. Wide open on the sideline with Heidel Villa. From the 38, Spooner's back in. In motion to the right. This right. Back to pass. Montos down the left sideline. Spooner's out there. He leaps. It's incomplete. Off his hand. At the seven-yard line, defended by John Bailey. 66 six to go. Maltos looking to his right, goes over the middle. Complete first down to Chris Ealing at the 25. He's down to the 23. It's a gain of 15. And a brush, beat digger first down. First and 10, beat diggers from the 23 of Fort Morgan, trailing by seven in the opener. Maltos back to pass, looking to his right, out in the flat. Caught by Ealing to the 25. He's going to get out of bounds. At around the 23, so no game there. Boy, he was hit very hard. Green card over there by Matt Chavez. Second and 10 for the beat diggers at the 23-yard line of Fort Morgan. Trailing by a touchdown. Pasos looking to throw towards the sideline, and it is incomplete. Well defended over there by Kinnison, intended for Brad Pass at the 15-yard line. Third down on third and 10. So the Mustangs come with a blitz. Here they come. Matos to throw. Matos rolls to his left. He's got some running room to the 20. Matos to around the 17, and he's out of bounds, short of a first down. The clock does stop, and he gains six yards on the play. Fourth and four for the feet diggers at the Mustangs 17-yard line. Matos under center. Maltos rolling to his right. The pressure's coming. Gets away from a defender. Goes towards the end zone. Spooner's out there. Pass it up. Incomplete. Incomplete. The Mustangs would run out the clock and win the game over Brush by a score of 22-15. to 15. 